Hi, my name is Chris Hodge, and I'm the Senior Software Engineer for OpenStack at Puppet Labs. Today we're going to talk about how you can install a multi-node installation of OpenStack Icehouse with Puppet Enterprise and the Puppet Labs OpenStack module. Using this module, we're going to install a multi-node installation of OpenStack Icehouse with individual nodes for your various OpenStack services. For this installation, we're going to assume that you have Puppet Enterprise installed on your Puppet Master, as well as the four target nodes that you're going to be installing your OpenStack services on. Here we are in the Puppet Enterprise console. You can see that we have our four node types already registered with Puppet Enterprise. A compute node, a storage node, a network node, and a control node, as well as our Puppet Master. The first thing that we want to do is install Puppet Labs OpenStack. We can do that from the command line of our Puppet Master using the Puppet Module tool. Puppet Module Install Puppet Labs OpenStack. The Puppet Module tool will resolve all of the dependencies and automatically download them for you. Next, we need to set up the Hira database. Go to your Puppet Configuration directory. We'll start by editing the Hira.yaml file. For our hierarchy, we're going to start by adding a new OpenStack field, and we're also going to specify a data directory for YAML files. In this case, it's going to be an Etsy Puppet Labs Puppet Hira data. Next, create your Hira data directory. Copy the sample OpenStack configuration into the Hira data directory. This example can be found under Modules OpenStack Examples. Note that I'm naming the file OpenStack.yaml to match the configuration in the Hira.yaml file. Now we want to make both the directory and the OpenStack.yaml file readable to Puppet Enterprise. Let's take a look at the OpenStack configuration. Your configuration file contains all of the information you need to configure your OpenStack installation, including the four networks that you're going to be running your OpenStack installation on, a floating IP pool that will be available to your running OpenStack cluster, and the external gateway and DNS servers for the networks that will be set up within your OpenStack cluster. Puppet will also set up a private Neutron network for you, so you can specify the sitter of that network. You need to specify the fixed IP addresses of your controller and storage nodes. Passwords and allowed hosts need to be set up for the database, as well as passwords for RabbitMQ. You'll need to set up the admin token, admin email, and admin password for Keystone. You can also use this opportunity to set up any users you want automatically installed on your OpenStack system. Finally, you can specify passwords for the rest of the services. You'll also need to specify the available storage for your Cinder volumes. Finally, if you want to test your OpenStack cluster with Tempest, you can specify a number of options that will set up a Tempest test harness for you. Once the file has been edited, you'll want to restart Puppet Enterprise so that it'll pick up these changes. Now that we've installed the Puppet Labs OpenStack module and configured it, we want to add the node configuration classes to Puppet Enterprise. Go to the Classes tab and select Add New Classes. You assign a type of class to a node by assigning a role to it. You can filter the available classes to add by searching against role. You can see all of the OpenStack roles that are available to you in this module. For this multi-node installation, we're going to bring in the compute, controller, network, and storage roles. Going back to the nodes view, the first thing that we're going to do is set up our controller node. Select the control node, edit the class, and add the controller role. It's important that you set up the control node before you set up the rest of the nodes. It contains a number of essential services that all of the other nodes rely upon. We can kick off a puppet run in live management. Deselect every node in the list except for control. Select control puppet, run once, and start the puppet run. We're going to switch to the control node so that we can watch the status. It's going to take about 10 minutes for your control node to be set up by Puppet Enterprise. This includes setting up all of the repositories that contain the OpenStack packages, installing those packages, configuring the services, and starting the services up. The catalog run finished in about 10 minutes. Going back to the nodes view, we can see that 598 resources have been changed on the control node for a total of 810 resources being managed. The next step is to deploy the storage, compute, and network nodes. 
we start by assigning the roles to them. For the storage node, the compute node, and the network node. Go to the Live Management tab. This time select the Compute, Network, and Storage nodes. Control Puppet, Run Once, and kick off a Puppet Agent run on each node. You can follow the progress on each node as we did on the Control node. The Storage and Network nodes each took about three minutes. The Compute node took about five minutes to complete. Going back to the Nodes console, you can see that Puppet Enterprise is managing about 2,000 resources in total. And it took us less than 20 minutes in total to set up an entire multi-node OpenStack cluster. At this point, we're going to take a small tour of our OpenStack installation and verify that everything's working. We start by pointing our browser to the IP address of our controller node. Our user was set up automatically for us. In this case, the user is test, and the password is abc123. If you go to the System Info tab, you can verify that all of your services are running. The API services, the compute services, and all of the network agents. The Puppet Lab's OpenStack module will also set up your default networking for you. In this example, you can see that a public-facing network along with a pool of IP addresses, is connected to a private network through a router. Note that the IP address of the router is 192.168.22.100. You can go to a terminal window and verify that this public network is up and running. The Puppet Lab's OpenStack module also installed a small Linux test image for you, called Ceros. We can test the booting of this image on our OpenStack installation. First, go to Access and Security. We'll want to be able to SSH into this machine, and so we need to modify the default security group. Click Manage Rules, select Add a Rule, and choose SSH from the drop-down menu. Select Add. This will allow SSH traffic from the public network into our private network. Selecting Access and Security again, we're going to create a key pair so that we can log into our Ceros machine without having to use a password. Select the Key Pairs tab, and then Create Key Pair. The private key will automatically be downloaded. Selecting Access and Security again, we're also going to assign a floating IP address. Select Floating IPs, and Allocate IP to Project. Select it from the Public Pool, and Allocate IP. Moving back to the Images tab, we're going to launch an instance of Ceros. Select Launch. We're going to give it the name Ceros. In Access and Security, your demo key pair will already be selected. In the Networking tab, connect the machine to the private network and select Launch. Under Instances, you can now see that the Ceros image is booting. While you're waiting for it to boot, you can associate the floating IP. Let's move over to the Network tab and take a look at the Network topology again. You can now see the Ceros instance connected to the private network. If you mouse over the instance, it gives you an option to open a console. The Ceros image is booted, and we can log in as the Ceros user. And the default password is CubsWin. Check that your network connection is active. You can also verify that you can access the machine from the public network through your public IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.22.101. First, you need to set the permissions on your key so that SSH will accept it. Now you can SSH into the Ceros box without using a password. We were able to log in automatically with our private key into the Ceros box. Using Puppet Enterprise and the Puppet Labs OpenStack module, we demonstrated how you could set up a multi-node OpenStack icehouse distribution with a controller node, a storage node, a network node, and a compute node. 
If you want to get started with the module, go to forge.puppetlabs.com slash puppetlabs slash openstack. There you can download the module and also read documentation on how to use it. If you're interested in contributing to the Puppet Labs OpenStack module, head over to github.com slash puppetlabs slash puppetlabsopenstack. There you can file issues and bug reports, download the code, and submit pull requests. Thanks for watching.